Well, I'm back. Uh, tw almost 24 hours later, it's still got a little bit of time left um, on it. And we've got 2283 milliamp hours uh, extracted, so that's pretty good. But the voltage has just dropped down to nothing. What the? Um, I can only assume that, it, like, I, it's it's not zero. They're they're all connected. It's not like there's a bad connection, because it's like point four six. What? The whole string is zero volts with fifty milliamps flowing. I don't get it. Um, have I really drained these things that far? Probe a couple of batteries here. So yeah, they must be. I was afraid that one of them might like jump out because these spring um, things are terrible. You'd be able to see a battery physically popped out and uh, because current's flowing. So there's obviously um, something volts on this pack. Um, what? 3.7 volts on this pack. Uh, 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 we have something horribly wrong here. Minus two. Well, I... I think, yeah, I've got it back to front. There we go. Minus 2, minus uh, 2.1, 2. Okay, that's what we expect. So we expect 2 volts per pack. Yep, 2. Okay. So some of them have evenly discharged, or, or, you know, discharged as we expected. Down to a volt. Yep. Okay. What do you want to be? Want to be a wallaby? Yep. Okay. Sorry, I'm not getting all this on camera. Two volts. Okay, so a good lot of these packs are two volts. So why is that showing zero volts? Um, that's just weird. The heck's going on there? Because you saw it when we started this test yesterday. It was like 42 volts or something. Um, and we expected it to get down to, you know, 26 or something. Uh, 13 packs times like one volt per cell to cells per pack so like you know 20 odd six volts it, that is and we got 50 milliamps even though our constant current is supposed to be um set to 100 milliamps so i don't get it hmm this is dodgy as let me measure the pack voltage the entire voltage here Sure enough, that's zero, but it's it, there's, there's 44 milliamps flowing there. Assuming I'm making contact, it that is ridiculous. Uh, all right, I'm going to disconnect it. So here we go. There we go, 25 volts. That pack is 25 volts. It's exactly what we expected. Whoa, look, it's dropping. Look, five, and then the load, once you put, ah, oh, because we were no load. Once you put the load on it, wow. We've got like two volts per pack, mostly. Open circuit voltage, 15. All right, hang on. I'll just hook up an individual battery pack like this. So two of them in series. And what I'll do is I'll set a constant current of one amp and I'll set a cutout voltage here of 1.8 volts. Yes, there'll be some drop across the leads and stuff like that. Um, so 0 0.9 volts per cell, nominal. So I'm going to give that a burl. Oh, on. There we go. Oh, test completed. Yep, <laughs> the voltage instantly dropped down. <laughs> Kamigatsa. Remote sensing might be required. Right, so what I'm going to do, one amp, I'm going to uh, stop on 100 milliamp hour capacity, okay? So we're going to take an extra 0.1 amp hours out of these poor little batteries at one amp. So let's go. And you'll watch that voltage. Yeah, like 1.4. Yep, <laughs> we're really right down. There's nothing left. Nah, there's, uh, let me measure the actual uh, voltage on the battery itself. I'm getting 1.21 volts on the actual battery itself. So it's not a huge amount of drop in those leads. So yeah, there's really not much left in those batteries at all. Wow. Yeah, I don't think I'll wait. Nah. <laughs> Actually, I might just set like a stop of one volt. Let's just like really hammer these suckers. Yeah, so I think I'm just going to go medieval on their ass. And uh, I've done a couple now. So I've set the uh, stop voltage to one volt. So that's half a volt per cell. But as I said, there is drop in the contacts and the wires and everything else. So I'm not 
real and there is capacity left in these batteries trust me if you just drew it out at a smaller current um, then you would actually be able to extract that capacity but uh, that remaining capacity could be a couple hundred milliamp hours or something remaining in these batteries but anyway um, so I'm gonna stop on that here we go so here's the here's the Panasonic's as you can see they, it doesn't last very long so I'm just giving each pair just one little final one amp burst just for fun so each one of those is like only lasting like 10 seconds. The best ones so far have been these Coles brand ones, actually. Um, these are the ones that still, you know, they're, they're going to last like 20 seconds. Here we go. <laughs> There's not much in it. <laughs> Boom, test complete. Actually, the best ones seem to these be these, uh, the good energizers. So, eh, they're still holding up. Come on. That, that could take a while. Ah, so yeah, so far out of, we've got uh, Vada, Wallaby, we've got the Panasonics, the Duracells and the Coles ones, the ones with the most amount of juice left, but they could have had some <laughs> charge put into them, who knows? Anyway, um, with our weird ass string that we had, huge string, but yeah, these are still hanging in there. Wah. Go Energizer, go the little Energizer bunny, there's also the Duracell bunny too, yeah. Bit of history there. Yeah, it really looks like the winner there is those Energizer Max Pluses. Got an extra 45 milliamp hours out of them. And they're it's about to come a gutter. Two and a, almost three minutes. Wow, there you go. All right, so out of all of those, uh, the Vada ones over here, I think, did a reasonable uh, job of getting some extra capacity, but by far the best was the Energizer uh, Max uh, Plus here. All the others, like, you know, the Max L's, the Shebas, the Philips, they lasted like two seconds um, on that one amp uh, burst before they dropped below one volt per cell, as measured on the terminals with extra losses there. So, um, yeah, most of them um, are pretty much, if you try and extract an amp out of them now, there's just, there's just nothing left in them. But, as I said, they do have some capacity left. But the Panasonic e volters and these juice banks, oh goodness. But I'll give them one last burst, just to be sure. One quick try on these juice banks here. Here we go. Let's go on. Whoa, it's a battery test, it just went bang and <laughs> fell off a cliff. So I think what was happening there is these juice banks and these Panasonic e volters they were being uh, reverse charged. They just <laughs> couldn't hack it anymore and they went uh, basically uh, reverse voltage and were cancelling out the rest of the pack voltage. So in, in essence, the rest of the uh, pack, the rest of the string was actually charging these batteries and and making them reverse that's what gave us like uh nothing available on the output uh, terminals of the pack so that's all i can think of is what was happening there because these were the only two that i measured out of all those packs that were like something like they had um a like they had a large voltage across them um much greater than their original terminal voltage so uh yeah that's what you know weird stuff can happen uh to batteries that's this is why the manufacturers recommend and do not mix batteries with different uh, charges on them. Do not put like a half dead battery in with the full battery because they will, uh, that full battery will actually eventually, as the product uh, discharges, will reverse charge the half dead battery. And I think that's what's happening here. These ones just didn't have the capacity and these eventually went under. Uh, maybe if we only did it for like 20 hours or something like that, then I think we would have been fine. We wouldn't have got to the end. But I kind of expected this uh, to happen. As I said in my original video, I think I suspected that, you know, I was, I was kind of pushing it there with the 24 hours. I was hoping that it all hold up, but uh, yeah, I don't think either of these did. Hmm. Maybe I can do, I've got the other ones, maybe we can do independent testing on these out of the same pack. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that video. Catch you next time. So there you have it. I'm just going to uh, leave those in. These are not like really proper sealed uh, containers. Um, they're like, there's no real nice, hard, tight seal on there, but they're in containers anyway. Um, so we can see through them and I'll be able to monitor those over the coming months. So. Now comes the boring part. I'll just leave them there after these are, things have been uh, used and abused and discharged. We'll see what happens. And of course, I'll do another batch of these, uh, two from each brand, and then I'll put them under a light load as well. But, oh, well, we'll leave these ones. Maybe I can have a webcam on them. <laughs> What's the most boring webcam? Seeing if any of these leak.